guys, it's Shane here, 1 tip tip time. How are you doing? We're going to do another rankings video this week. Uh, this time, we're stepping into the world of the NBA. Not a huge NBA fan. I don't, <coughs> I mean, I am Canadian, uh, so I do cheer for the Raptors uh, as default. But other than that, uh, I don't have a lot of favorites in this one. So this one should be pretty um, fair, I would think. I tried to not put the Raptors up too high, and I don't think that was too hard because I don't believe they have the best logo. So, <coughs> without any further ado, let's start off with number 30, uh, the Portland Trail Blazers. Uh, I mean, it's, it's got a lot of words, huge words, Portland, it's, it's just huge. And then, it, I don't know what that thing is at the top, <coughs> it doesn't say Trail Blazers to me, but I don't know what a Trail Blazer is or how you would represent it. I assume it's like the people that uh, spread across the land first to colonize it. Uh, probably risky subject now, but uh, Trailblazers, number 30. Uh, number 29, we have the Atlanta Hawks. And I just, there, in sports, there's so many good bird logos. And this is this is not a good bird logo. I, uh, it's got so much wording around it. I mean, the Atlanta Falcons is just such a better logo, and it's in the same city. Uh, also, what's with Atlanta and birds? <laughs> anyway, number 28, Detroit Pistons. It's literally just the name inside a basketball. Uh, uh, you're not going to get a lot of points when that's all you do. It just doesn't seem like a lot of effort was there. Again, Pistons, that could be a cool jersey. You could have had them pumping out of an engine. Like, uh, Yeah, you could have done something with that. OKC Thunder. I guess, I don't know that why they chose the word Thunder. I guess they get a lot of Thunder, but... It's a sound. You can't really represent a sound in a picture, so making a logo becomes extremely difficult. I guess they've got a shield with a sword. It's, I mean, it's got all the things it needs on there, but it just it looks very convoluted. Like, there's just so much going on, and it doesn't really make sense for the Thunder. So I'm glad they didn't have the whole Oklahoma City written out there, though, like before. That thing was ridiculous. Once again, this is kind of like the, the Pistons, right? Yeah, number 26, the Washington Wizards. It's a basketball. I do like that they have the uh, the monument, Washington Monument, right in the middle like that. And I mean, they got the stars and the stripes, so they do get extra points. But it's just, uh, yeah. Also, Wizards. Why is there Wizards? What do Wizards and Magic have to do with basketball? Uh, we'll have to find that out in another but, uh, video. At least Magic makes a little more sense. <coughs> number 25, the Utah Jazz. Again, they, they use the the musical note there, and it is basketball, but uh, the letters just look like they're mismatched, and like, one summer slanting this way, and then they got slants this way, and uh, I don't know, it just looks a little convoluted, and, th and the colors don't seem to really work together. Uh, then again, we got the Los Angeles Clippers at number 24. Uh, it's better than the other one that was just words, uh, the, the first one there, the Trailblazers because the logo is a little bit better. But again, it just doesn't seem like a lot of effort. I do like the outlines uh, of each of the letters. It gives a little bit of a 3D effect there. Uh, so it is it's just a little better than the other one. So 24 for it. Uh, number 23, the Suns. Uh, again, it's just a basketball. But again, uh, this one's got the shadow, making it look 3D. It's It's got some animation behind it. The whole logo's like a slanted. This kind of looks like, to me, a patch. I like a, this would be a great shoulder patch as the main logo. I don't know. Uh, I guess it works, but uh, that's why it's mid-pack. Uh, keep on moving here with the Brooklyn Nets. What's with the shields, too? You see a lot of shields in basketball. Is that a thing? I knew soccer. I thought soccer had shields, but I guess basketball also does. But you got your shield with the Nets, the B on the basketball in Brooklyn. It's kind of nice and clean. I like the black and white of it. That's why it does get a little bit better marks, because it's just nice and clean, but uh, it's a, again, mid-back logo. Number 21, the Houston Rockets. I liked it almost a little better when it was just this, right? It's got the two Rockets blasting off, uh, <coughs> but they added the basketball and the and the world, or the planet, uh, and it's got the, the wrap like Saturn there, so... It's still a it's still a really nice logo. I just uh, honestly I like the simplicity of just the the inner part, uh, especially on the jersey. Then we have the Sacramento Kings. So we have a half basketball, so it lets you know it's basketball. It's got a crown on the top, right? Like 
Uh, it's kind of almost looked like skyscrapers too, like obviously what LA is known for, or uh, Sacramento, California. I think it's pretty close, but uh, so it's got the mountains, maybe mountains and buildings slanted. I'm not sure what it is. A lot of these things, as I say, I'm not a big basketball fan, so I don't know. Uh, but I'm just saying kind of what I think it looks like and and how I interpret it. And if I'm wrong, I'm definitely wrong. But I l I like it. Uh, again, purple. You're always going to get some points with purple. This is uh, the New York Knicks. <coughs> again, this is uh, a basketball, but. Uh, it's got the, those nice big 3D letters. Again, orange is always a win with me as well. Uh, it's got New York Knicks. It's uh, everything you need, and it's uh, nice and clean. Number 18, uh, the Philadelphia 76ers. And again, we're very similar. It's got the very clean look, right? It's got the basketball with the, the name. It's got the stars, which I uh, I assume is the amount of championships they've won. They've won. Like uh, a lot of times you'll see uh, soccer teams and stuff do that. Uh, I think in basketball, the Lakers and other teams have that on the court, like the stars of how many championships they've won. I don't even know what the 76ers is, though. It, again, it's just a lack of education on my part. It must be in uh, some sort of a Philadelphia regiment of the Army or something, I'm assuming. But uh, maybe that would help me know what the stars is. I'm assuming this star formation is the amount of stars that went on the American flag when Philadelphia was in the Union first or something like that. But... Uh, that's a lot of guessing, uh, so we're just going to move right on to number 17 and the Pacers. Uh, it's a lot of these circles with the names on it, uh, but this one, just the, the way the silver makes everything pop out, I really like it. The strong colors, the blue, the orange, the basketball melting away, like it pacing, like like a pacer is like, um, I assume like a pace car, or in horse racing, you got that little pace the bunny that goes out or something, and it looks like it's streaking, like it's, it's moving. Uh, and you got to keep pace with it. So it does make sense and it looks good. The Miami Heat. Once again, you take the basketball, you set it on fire, and you put it through a hoop. Like it shows that this is basketball. Well, I like even in the wet letter, uh, they've got like the heat and the T is, is set on fire there. <coughs> Just really good, clean logo. Again, I like the way the, the ball lines match up right into the flames. Someone took some time here, and it, and it shows. Uh, all these logos from here on out are good logos. I like them all. Uh, the Spurs. Talk about being simple but effective. They're called the Spurs, and there's a spur right there on that U. I've always loved this logo. It's probably higher than it should be, uh, but the simplicity and just how cool it is with the spur there has always I've just... Again, this one might be one that has a little soft spot for me because I've just i always liked this jersey. The Denver Nuggets. I like their old jersey better, <laughs> but this one is really good too because, it, uh, again, it shows the mining heritage uh, for the Nuggets, uh, which, of course, everyone did the gold rush uh, in Colorado for. Uh, yeah, it's got mounts. It's got basketball. Again, it's got the words uh, around in a circle, which is a very common theme, it seems, in basketball. Brings us number 13, the Dallas Mavericks. All right, so we got this angry horse here. And yeah, it's just the, the way it's spelled out is really nice. Like the big on the side, skinny in the middle, the star for Dallas, like the M on the, the head for the Mavericks. Just a nice, clean, good logo. Really like that one. New Orleans Pelicans. Again, it's got a Pelican there. This is a much better bird than the Pelicans. Uh, holding the basketball. I mean, that's why it's number 12. Uh, the Pelicans in red really makes it stand out. The Florida Lee there in red is just, I uh, guess. Again, these are all really good logos. Love all the rest. Again, tried to not put them too high, but it's the same sort of logo with the words going around the outside. And I just really love the basketball with the uh, claws. I was at a young age when the Raptors came out, and just after Jurassic Park. So I fell in love with it. Obviously, a lot of people are like, why does Raptors have to do with basketball? Well, they had nothing to do with basketball. But it, that movie came out just before it. <coughs> and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Again, another big shield, but this one makes sense as the Cavalier. You got your the sword there, the Cavalier sword. Uh, the C is really stylized. Uh, I love that it's not even a capital C. It's just a oh, just it's a really nice, nice logo. I, I like the colors. Uh, Orlando Magic. Again, don't really understand what Magic or Wizards has to do with basketball, but here we are. I love this logo. It's got the stars. It's again got the. The, I love when they do the motion with the basketballs, right? A lot of them, most, almost every logo has the basketball. But when you put the motion in there, like the, the, the heat or 
any of the pacers when there's actually <coughs> a bit of movement to it it's just a much better logo and of course this one makes a lot more sense because of the magic kingdom just down the road uh the golden state warriors uh love it uh, again the words going around the outside but I honestly, as a non-basketball fan, wouldn't have known that the Golden State Warriors were from San Francisco unless you had the Golden Gate Bridge, you know, sitting right there. So I think the logo works really well. And, uh, yeah, with Steph Curry rocking it, they're in good shape down there for a little while to come. You're going to see a lot of that logo. Now, Milwaukee Bucks. How do you make a deer look super angry? I don't know, but they did it. That thing, not even an angry, let's say intense. Like, that is a... That's a deer, deer that has just looked up at you and is eyeing you and is not afraid of you. He's going to come charge you and, and buck you. And yeah, it's just great. Just a great logo. Great colors. Well done, Milwaukee. Then we have Minnesota at number six. And look at this thing. Like Minnesota kills their logos and their jerseys. Just love the hints of green there that make it just pop there. They got the North Star, which is a huge thing in Minnesota, throwing back to the original hockey team, the Wild having their logo. This wolf looks amazing. As a hockey fan, I I see the Arizona Coyote wolf here though too a bit. I don't know which one came first, but they do seem very similar, but I'm not going to take that away, uh, or points away from that. Love those little sharp teeth too. It's just, ah, oh, it's really nice logo. Very nice logo. And again, number five, the Memphis Grizzlies. That's just an angry, a bear you don't want to piss with. And they, they did such a good job changing this from the kind of cartoony Vancouver Grizzly logo, which was okay too. Uh, and I, of course, liked the Vancouver Grizzlies and cheered for them when they were around. But I think they did a really good job uh, in the move to Memphis of turning into a nasty bear, though I'm not really sure how many Grizzly bears there are in Memphis. <laughs> the Charlotte Hornets. Oh my God. Thank God. Jordan bought this team and was able to buy the rights or whatever happened for them to get this this name and logo back. Was it the Charlotte Bobcats there for a while? I think it was. Just, it didn't make sense. I didn't like it. I didn't like their logo, anything. I'm so glad they have this little nasty bee. I, my favorite was that one from the, the 90s where the bee was turned and it looked like it had the stinger up. Like, that, if it was still that logo, probably would have been number one. Love that logo. But uh, number four, it's nothing to slag at there for the Charlotte Hornets. I actually just noticed that the the base of the Hornet is a basketball too, which is extra points as well. Number three, the Los Angeles Lakers. You can't get much more simple than this, but the, the it's the purple and gold. It's the purple and gold. I love that color combination of the royalty. They, they match the royalty with the Kings in the city. They've got the, the same streets, which I'm sure the Kings stole from the Lakers because, of course, the Lakers were here first. But the, the unity of the teams, I always give extra points for that. Just a great logo. And uh, I know a lot of people are probably going to be upset that that's num number one. But <coughs> my top three are all awesome ones that I would wear in a second. Love the, all three of these. Uh, number two is the Chicago Bulls. Again, the, the animals in the NBA ha are done well. They're not, like, in football it seems it was a lot of birds and a lot of and a lot of animals that aren't so threatening, but there are some nice threatening animals, and this bull looks just so angry. And, of course, again, Jordan wearing it may have affected it uh, a little bit for me in the, in the 80s, 90s, but just love it. Beautiful jersey, so angry, sorry logo, just well done. Which brings us to the number one. I'm sure you could have guessed uh, the only one left is the Boston Celtics. How can you not love this one? That guy is awesome. It's got a basketball. It's got the name in the circle. And, but it's got the best imagery uh, of any of them. And I'm not really, again, sure what a Celtic is. Uh, besides an Irish dude, I guess. But <laughs> it's just great. Uh, love this one. And uh, I don't know. We'll see. If you guys disagree or agree, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a like, uh, uh, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. You guys have a great one, and we'll see you in the next video.